Welcome back to our Shaken series. Over the summer, we will be looking at this great resource created by the amazing Big House. This is a game which helps you to explore and make good and healthy choices to live well when life shakes you, as well as grasp the biblical hope of God's constant presence with you, no matter what. We have looked at how the things we do to try and deal with our feelings are called coping mechanisms. There are two types of coping mechanisms. One, healthy. Two, unhealthy. The healthy ones help us to land well when we are shaken. The unhealthy ones don't. In fact, they can help us make it feel worse and making life more difficult. So choosing healthy coping ways is really important and they will help us to live as well as we can, no matter what shakes us in life, because there is hope. There are three really important things that will help each one of us to cope and live well in good and bad days. And they are talking, listening and spotting. We have looked at each of these in detail to understand what they really mean and how they can help us. We've also examined a few of the coping mechanisms in closer detail and today we're going to check out a few more together. Today we're going to begin with number eight in the shaken book, a stress ball. Some people, me included, find it really helpful to have busy hands when I feel stressed or anxious. Some people have a habit of picking their fingers or biting their nails or similar things when they are stressed. You could try and make yourself a stress ball and see if busy hands helps you to relax your mind. A super simple one to make is by filling a balloon with flour. You can stretch the top of it and use a funnel to fill it up. If you don't have a funnel, you could try cutting the top off a drinks bottle. Remove as much of the air as possible from the balloon and tie it tightly. Now you have your own stress ball. Other items that could help are things like a pipe cleaner, twisting it in your fingers or a small piece of blue tack or play-doh. It's a small object just to keep your fingers busy. Next for today's video is breathe. This is one that was touched on in a previous video under a small section of relax. And it's that effective that it's here again with its own section. Sometimes we need to pause what we are doing and let our whole body breathe properly. It can help to calm your body and settle stressed or racing thoughts. The Bible even talks about how it is helpful for us to take these moments to stop and be still, remembering who God is and that he is with us. When we stop and practice breathing slowly, it can help us to manage our stressful or panicky thoughts and feel more in control. There are so many different breathing techniques. Last time I mentioned the four, seven, eight breathing and belly breathing. Another one is called box breathing and you visualize breathing around a four sided box in for four, hold for four, out for four and back to the beginning for four. There are so many visual breathing aids that you can even save them as gifts in your phone's photo gallery to use whenever you'd like. You can find these for the 478, belly breathing, box breathing, or any other type that you find suits you best. The easiest way that's worked for me was to search breathing visualization GIF and then to save it to my phone. There are so many beautiful and calming loops that you can watch for as long as you need to. You can also connect your breathing as a prayer with God. Pick a word or phrase to think on the inhale, exhale or both and repeat it. Maybe you would prefer to say the words out loud as you make your breaths or just repeat the words in your head. You could make up your own or some ideas could be inhale, nothing separates me, exhale from the love of God. Another one could be inhale, be still, 
exhale and know you are God. In practice, it might just look like this if you're doing it in your head. Be still and know you are God. 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 Simple. Number three for today is all about fresh air. Getting outside and fresh air can help break a stressed moment. It can help you calm down and gather your thoughts to work out what you are going to do next. If you are in school or a youth group, you will need to ask before you just walk outside. But if you tell the adult in charge why you want to get fresh air, they will hopefully be able to help that happen for you. When you get outside, notice what is around you, the trees, the clouds, the rain, the sun. God created this world for us to enjoy and it says it in the Bible in the book of Genesis. God is bigger than all of these and able to help you in the moment as we are told in Isaiah chapter 45 verses 5 and 6. The moment will pass and you will be able to get help. The difficult feelings can be reduced and they can be helped and they can also pass. We're going to look at Psalm 121, but before I begin, I want you to understand the context a little bit. King David wrote this psalm when he was feeling unsafe. It is a song of ascent, which means that it was written for those who were traveling up and down hills or mountains or paths through dangerous and rocky trails, fearful of stumbling, injury or robbery on their journey. The psalm says, I look up to the hills, but where? Will my help really come from? My help will come from the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. He will not let you fall. Your protector will not fall asleep. Israel's protector does not get tired. He never sleeps. The Lord is your protector. The Lord stands by your side, shading and protecting you. The sun cannot harm you during the day and the moon cannot harm you at night. The Lord will protect you from every danger. He will protect your soul. The Lord will protect you as you come and go, both now and forever. Think about your own life journey. Are there ever times you have felt like the road has been rocky, slippery or shaky? There has possibly been really hard times of loss or pain maybe questioning choices that you need to make, unsure about life. The shaky feelings will look different to each one of us and we can't judge others for what they are dealing with. What confidence can you have from Psalm 121 for your own daily life? What words or phrases jump out at you the most and why? Creator God is all powerful and mighty. He is always with us, even in the times when life is hard or difficult. We can take courage from his presence with us and ask others for practical help also. I'm going to close in a word of prayer now. God, thank you so much that you are always there in the shaky times. Just like we read in Psalm 121, others will always cry out for you as well. You are there protecting us, holding us, shading us and looking after us, keeping us safe from danger. You will help us to get through the troubled times when we might feel like we can't cope it on our own. God, help us to remember that you are always there and always listening and always wanting to guide us. God, we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.